Hey Virgo, welcome to your general love reading for mid-March to the end of March 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation but if you would like you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading with me and you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, second half of March. Let's see what is going on with you. For the situation, we have the Knight of Cups crossed by the King of Pentacles. Okay, so there is another person here. I feel like this is someone else. It could be you, it could be another Earth sign. Um, there are feelings here. It could be that this person is wanting to apologize about something or to just express something from an emotional level here. And it could be that they are doing it, or maybe this is you doing this, but it, it feels like it's not very um, grounded or it's not very secure. Let's see. For you, we have the moon the Page of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so it, yeah, it's like, I feel like you're confused about something or you're just not sure. There's something that you might not be seeing here. And I feel like that's because, you know, if there is someone else who is communicating with you, it's like that communication just doesn't feel very trustworthy, maybe or very dependable. Whatever it is that this person is saying, maybe they're making a promise, something. Um, I do feel like you are interested though in this, whatever it is that this person is saying, but you're just not sure if you can trust it and for that reason you're trying to emotionally detach and walk away from this. Let's see for them, we have the page of wands, the ace of swords, and strength. So quite a bit of pages showing up in this reading. So this is revolving around communication. I feel like this person is speaking the truth, but they might be coming at it in a, in a bit of an immature kind of way. And that's why it doesn't feel very secure. We'll see. We'll see because I feel like, you know, whatever it is that they're trying to say, it could be something that is taking a lot of courage or a lot of strength on their end. So that could be why. Let's see, for the potential outcome here, we have the Six of Swords. All right, moving away from conflict, moving to, towards something that is bringing in more peace, possibly even a resolution to all of this. So yeah, let's clarify and see. And we do have um, Pisces energy in this reading. We also have Leo. All right, so Page of Cups with the King of Pentacles. The World, the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. So it could be that this person is trying to do something differently, like closing out something, for something, either from their lives or within this connection. They're, it's a, I feel like they're trying to go about this in a different kind of a way. And it's almost as if they're asking for, for support. Could be a third party situation going on here. I mean, having both the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups as clarifiers for the main situation here and together with the world. I mean, it could be that this is something that, that this person is trying to put an end to, to there being a third party type of a situation, okay? If that's your situation. Um, but again, it feels like, you know, they're expressing this, but you know, um, being fully secure is actually the issue for this. For others of you, 
Either way, whether there is or there isn't a third party, this person is wanting to connect with you, even if it's um, just to keep you as a friend or maybe to even work together on something. They're wanting this, but wanting this, it means closing out something else within your connection as well. So it's like, that's what I mean by it's like, it's different. Like changing the dynamic or putting an end to something for how you were, but still wanting to maintain some kind of a relationship here where the two of you can, you know, be okay, be okay. That's the vibe I'm getting. Really weird. All right, let's see for the moon which is in your energy. We have the Two of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, it's like you're not you're not really sure about this. You're not sure that you would want what they're what they're suggesting here or, you know, the way and they might not even be directly suggesting this. It could just be coming off in in this person's energy. Um you're not really sure that that's what you would want or you're not sure that they could actually go through with whatever it is that they're saying or if you could go through with what with what is being presented here and it could even be that you are the one who is suggesting this so if it is you unless the roles are reversed you are also not sure about you suggesting that I don't know, Virgo, a little strange this time around. Let's see this page of swords. We have the queen, king of pentacles showing up again here and the eight of wands. So there's communication here um, from your end, or at least you're trying to communicate with them or you are communicating to this person and I feel like what you're communicating, it has to do with stability, you know, that you would want stability, um, something that is solid, something that is dependable, trustworthy, either in the connection, in terms of commitment, or in terms of what this communication is. Like you want this person to, you know, stay true to their word, for example, or you want to stay true to your word, even if you're not sure about it. Okay, it could go either way. Let's see the Eight of Cups. Just had two flip over. Oh, actually three. All right, so with the Eight of Cups, we have the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Hanging Man. Okay, so whatever this discussion is, or whatever this proposal or suggestion is, I feel like, you know, your, your reaction to this is to keep your distance, to not get attached. So it could be that you are proposing this or you are trying for this, you know, for it to just be a friendship, for example, or to just work together, change around the dynamic so that you can stay emotionally detached so that it doesn't hurt as much, all right? So that the connection is not as painful, for example. Or it could be that if the other person is suggesting this, that you are, you know, might be considering it, but you're also, again, trying to just stay detached from this in order to keep your own balance. And because you don't want to stay in a situation, in this situation, in the way that you had been before. You want it to be different. You want there to be a new path. Um, but it's interesting though, because with the hanging man, it's like, yeah, you know, okay, you're, you're exploring this. You're exploring this from a different perspective to see if it's something that can work for you. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it is or it isn't, but it does, with the potential outcome here being the Six of Swords, I actually do see things moving to a calmer state of being and avoiding some conflict. So it could be for now that this is actually working in your favor. So let's see the Page of Wands for them. 
right, the Ten of Pentacles and the Magician. Okay, so it's like this person is either communicating a lot about about something being solid, about a particular commitment, and saying that they're actually going to take action here, and that they're actually going to make something happen. Um, it, it, it even feels like this person is has excitement or like eagerness to move towards something that is going to be more solid. So that's interesting because I, I feel like you're doubting that and like, you know, it's like this person is trying to present themselves in that way. And you're not trusting it, but it does feel like this person is has good intentions here. But let's see. Let's see the Ace of Swords. The King of Wands and Strength. So they're they're having strength twice. Okay, so that's Leo energy showing up twice for them. We also have um, Aries. I actually see this person being honest. That's all I can say here. I mean, I see them being honest. I see them um, being courageous in their actions as well as in their words. So yeah, you know, I mean, just take this if it resonates, you know your situation best. That's what I'm getting here, okay, for um, for some of you who, you know, this might resonate with. Let's see strength. The Knight of Swords and the Devil. Okay. So even though they are presenting themselves with this courage and this strength, and it is there, all right, it is there. I do see them coming from an honest place. There is some kind of either a temptation, and that's why they need so much strength, or there is some kind of an attachment, something that they are attached to here. So that's why you're not trusting this. However, again, I do feel like this person is putting in a lot of effort here. They're trying to be, they're trying to be authentic. They're trying to be truthful. They're trying to be um, honest and real. So, you know, I mean, in the long run, what ends up happening, that's a different story. But for the time being, I do see this person coming from a very genuine place for whatever it is that they are suggesting, at least. It might not even be what you would want, what this person is proposing or suggesting, but they're not being deceitful about it, is what I'm getting. Um, it's just something that is difficult for them. So, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there is a bit of a risk here as to how much they can follow through with this, um, with a double being here. But I feel like the strength is over, overpowering that devil. So, let's see the Six of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. The Six of Swords again, and the King of Swords. So, yeah, there is this, I, I feel like there's this determination here. It might be a long road, okay, to actually get to that final destination, whatever that final destination might be for some of you. Um, but I feel like this has already be, been set into motion whatever, whatever that is, like this path towards things being um, more peaceful, less conflict, more healed. It's like that path has already taken shape and form. And there's a lot of determinism um, to actually get there, to actually get to that final destination. So... Virgo, a very interesting reading. All right, so if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have partnership. Teamwork will give you better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. 
Okay. Wow. I feel like this is like pretty much exactly what we were talking about throughout your reading. Um, so yeah, take it as it resonates though. Um, find trustworthy people. You know, I, I feel like that's actually a message that this person is trustworthy or they can be trusted in what it is that they are suggesting here. Okay, um, at least that those are their intentions. But of course, always follow your own intuition and, you know, not everything is written in stone. So always keep that in mind. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so, so much for watching and much love.